Hey everyone, welcome to the 13th episode of the Wire Terminal Classroom. So in this episode, I will teach you how to use the Wire Terminal as a mouse for your computer. So if you stay until the end of this video, you will be able to move the mouse pointer on the computer just by tilting the Wire Terminal like this. Also, you'll be able to press left and right mouse buttons by clicking these buttons on the wire terminal and use the five-way switch to scroll up and down on a page. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. The wire terminal can be used as a USB client, so which means once you connect the wire terminal to a PC, you can use it as a mouse or a keyboard to make interactions with the connected PC. So now let's look at how the wire terminal can be used as a mouse. So when we write the Arduino code for this, first we need to start the mouse communication by writing mouse.begin and end the mouse communication by using mouse.end. And you can use these commands mouse.click, press, release and is pressed for these functions. So to click, to hold it, to release the mouse button and to check the status of the mouse buttons. So I'll be talking about this later when I write the Arduino code for this. So then we'll move the pointer by writing this command and then we will use the built-in accelerometer on the wire terminal to move the mouse pointer. So the x-axis and the y-axis readings from the accelerometer will be translated to mouse movements. So x-axis mouse movement and y-axis mouse movement of the mouse pointer. So if you look here at the back of the wire terminal, you can see here the three axis digital accelerometer on the wire terminal. So I have talked about this accelerometer in my previous video. Here in the video number 10, I have explained you how to use the accelerometer on the wire terminal. So you can go and have a look at this video. So I'll give a link to this URL in the video description down below so that you can go and check this video and learn more about the accelerometer on the wire terminal. So before we start writing our codes, let's download and install these libraries. So this library is to use the wire terminal as a mouse and this is the library for the built-in accelerometer. So let's go ahead to this library first and download it as a zip file. After that, let's go to this and download it also as a zip file. So I will link these two libraries locations inside the video description so that you can also download these libraries. So now let's open Arduino. Go to sketch, include library and add .zip library. Go to downloads and first select this, the mouse library. So now we have successfully installed that library. So next, install the accelerometer library. So now we have installed both the libraries. So this is what we are going to build to use the wire terminal as a mouse for your PC. So we will be building a simple user interface like this in this demonstration. So for the mouse buttons, I will assign these buttons on the wire terminal. So for the left click, I will assign the wire key C, which is this. I will assign this as the left click button. And for the right click, I will assign this button, which is YOK B. So these are the pin definitions inside the variant.h file I have explained to you before in my previous videos to find the pin definitions. So if you are not familiar with the buttons and the 5 way switch on the wire terminal, you can go and visit the classroom 8 video and I have explained to you in that video how to use the 3 buttons and the 5 way switch on the wire terminal. Then I will use the wire 5 ways up which is this 5 way switch. So when you switch up, it will scroll up the page and when you switch down, which is wire 5 s down, it will scroll down the page. So now let's start writing our codes. So first let's include the libraries. So this is the mouse library. And this is the accelerometer library. Finally, this is the EFT LCD library. 
So now let's do the initializations. So first, initialize the accelerometer, then initialize TFT LCD and finally let's initialize the buffer. Now let's create a variable, an integer called range and assign it to 25. So this is the output range of X or Y movement of the mouse pointer. So this actually affects the movement speed. Next let's assign another variable, another integer called response delay so set it to 2 so this will be the response delay of the mouse so that 2 here 2 means which is in milliseconds so when you make this value smaller the speed of the mouse pointer will be slow and if you make it bigger the speed of the mouse will be faster so now let's move on to the setup so inside the setup Let's first configure the button and switch pins as inputs. So let's go ahead and do that. So pin mode YO5S up. And let's set it as an input. After that, let's set the rest of the pins as follows. Next, let's start the mouse control. So mouse.begin Then list.begin wire1 So this is to start the accelerometer. After that, let's configure the accelerometer. So configure accelerometer so list dot set output data rate so let's set it as lis3dhtr data rate and 25 hertz so this is data output rate so it can be 1 hertz up to 5 kilohertz then this dot set full scale range and range set it to 2g so this is the scale range which is set to 2G so the range can be 2, 4, 8 or 16 G's after that let's start the LCD so TFT dot begin and that's to start TFT LCD and let's, th let's set the rotation so set rotation Set it to 3. So that's set TFT LCD rotation. So now we will move on to the loop. First, let's draw the UI. Draw this UI. So drawing UI on TFT LCD. So first, let's SPR dot create sprite create the buffer 
TFT height, TFT width, after that FSPR dot field sprite set to TFT white which is the background color. After that let's draw this header title. So draw header title. So first let's fill rect. So that's for the rectangle. So 0x 0y location. And the length is 320, height is 50 and the color will be blue. After that, let's set text size to 4. Then let's set text color to white. Finally, let's draw the string. So, draw string. The string will be air mouse. The location will be 50, 10. So next let's draw for this, for the scroll. So the scroll mouse, draw for scroll. Set text size to three. Set text color to black. Draw the string, scroll at 110, 130, then draw the triangle at this location. So this is the first point, second point and the third point, TFT blue. Draw another triangle, which is this one, the below triangle. Location will be this point, first point, and the second point is this, and the third point is this. So these are the vertices of the triangle. So this is one vertex, the another vertex, and another vertex. So three vertices so one two three after that let's draw for the left and right buttons so draw for left and right mouse buttons so spr dot draw rect draw rectangle 100 length 100 height and the color will be dark green then let's draw the string left at 15 130 let's draw another Rectangle 50 and color it dark green. Let's draw a string. Right 228 and 130. So now let's push this to the LCD. So SPR dot push sprite. Zero, zero. push to LCD so now let's assign variables assign a float variable called x values so 
so this is to store acceleration in x axis so let's assign another variable for y axis acceleration values After that, let's calculate the movement distance based on the acceleration values. So, int x distance, let's assign it to minus y values times the range that we have assigned before after that for y distance equals x values times range so here for the x distance we got the y values the acceleration in y axis because the way we orient the wire terminal so if we orient the wire terminal in a vertical position we can use the x values because the accelerometer is pointed in that direction but here we use in this orientation so we use the y values for the x distance so now let's write the codes to move the mouse pointer so mouse move so let's type if x distance so this one x distance is not equal to 0 or y distance not equal to 0 so that is if x or y is non zero then move the mouse pointer so let's type mouse dot move so that's to move the mouse pointer first will be x distance and then will be y distance and let's set this to zero this is for the mouse wheel so we will set this later in this code for the scroll wheel so move the mouse pointer in x and y after that let's do for the mouse button left click so which is this so let's write if digital read so y o key c because we want to assign y o key c to the left click which is this button so if y o key c is low which is pressed so that's the press state so i'll comment it here detect left mouse button press then if not mouse dot is press mouse left so here we check whether left mouse button is not press because we have typed this not see this exclamation mark represent not so if this is not pressed then mouse dot click mouse left so that is click left mouse button 
So now let's fill this rectangle when the button is pressed. So SPR dot create sprite EFT height EFT width. Then let's set X size to three. And let's set text color to white. And let's fill the rectangle. So 0, 50, 100, and 190 in dark green. And let's draw the string. So draw string left 15x and 130y let's push the sprite to the LCD and let's clear the buffer so to save some RAM it's better to clear the buffer Let's add a delay of 100. I'm sorry, when we pushed the sprite before for the title header, there should be a semicolon here. So you need to add a semicolon after the push sprite command. Now let's go down and here, after this, let's add an else. So else, if the left mouse button is pressed, then release it because we need to release the press button so if mouse dot is pressed mouse left then mouse dot release mouse left so now let's do the same for the right click button so mouse button right click so if digital read so here will be yo key b if it's low so this yo key b will be assigned to the right click Then if not mouse dot is pressed mouse right right then mouse dot click mouse right after that let's draw for this rectangle so spr dot create sprite set it to TFT height and TFT width and let's set text size text size to 3 and let's set text color to TFT white Then let's fill the rectangle so fill rec 220 50 100 and 190 so tft dark green will be the color and let's draw the string right 228 and 130 Let's push it, push sprite zero zero. Then let's delete it, delete the buffer. So there is, I'm sorry, not delete, it is clearing the buffer. And I have a delay of 100 milliseconds. Then let's add an else like before. 
so if the mouse is pressed then release it so if mouse dot is pressed now it's the right mouse button so mouse right then mouse dot release mouse right now let's write for the mouse scroll up so mouse scroll up if digital read so here will be bio 5s up which is this 5 way switch switching up if it's low which is if it's pressed mouse dot move so zero zero and one so one means the positive direction to scroll up scroll up and let's fill this in blue color so spr dot create sprite tft with tft with then spr dot fill triangle so this will be the triangle vertices 70 120 120 200 and 120 so color will be blue then let's push it push sprite 0 0 and finally clear the buffer delete sprite and add a delay of 50 milliseconds finally write for this scroll down mouse scroll down so if digital read so now i will be yo 5s down equals low mouse dot move so zero zero and the direction will be minus one because we are scrolling down so scroll down and then let's create the sprite create sprite tft height tft width fill the triangle spr dot fill triangle the coordinates will be 160 210 again 120 and 160 200 and 160 so the color will be blue and let's push the sprite 0 0 and finally clear the buffer so square dot delete sprite and add a delay of 50 milliseconds now let's go ahead and upload this code to the bio terminal So that's it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated with us. So see you guys in the next video.